Hey guys, so today I'm going to be showing you my Christmas haul. These are just items that I asked for for Christmas that I uh, got. So I thought, what better time to show you guys then than now. I will also um, show you how to prime a stamper head. So we'll just go ahead straight for the stamper head. So I got the pack of three stamper heads. Um, these are the Winstonia stamper heads. They're just uh, the extra large squishy stampers. They're not the marshmallow or anything. Um, particular like that. They're just the regular squishy ones and I like I like these so these are what I got. Um, you can kind of see here how it's super shiny over here in this one it's not shiny it's super matte and that's what you want so I will guys show you guys how to prime them here in a minute. So we'll go ahead and go to the stamp plates. So I got two scholars and one of the kitty ones so I got Scholar 5, and I love the packaging on these, they're always so nice. And they do come with a blue film, though I have already taken mine off. So here's uh, the first one. Very nice and doodly and cartoony. It would be really nice if you want to do a um, notebook Manny. So there's Scholar 5, and this one is Scholar 6. Sorry, it's a little messy. I've recently uh, used it for New Year's. So here this one is. Uh, I, I've always need letters. Letters are always a good thing to try and keep, especially different ones for different types. I have another cursive one, and... My Q looks like a 2, and I don't like it, so I thought this would be a good addition. Plus, they have the lowercase letters, which is something I don't have in my collection, so. So, that's a Scholar 6. And then this one is Kitty 11. And this one is just a whole bunch of different bird cages and kitties, and it's very cute. I don't have a lot of bird cages. So I thought this would be a good addition to the collection. So I love it. I haven't used it yet, but the details in it look really nice. So I'm excited to try this one. Okay, so now I'm going to show you guys how to prime a stamper. Now, like I said, the stampers that are super shiny, um, they don't pick up well, um, they have missing pieces and everything, so it makes it a lot harder to stamp, and a lot of people don't realize that you have to prime them before you actually go to use them. So a lot of people don't like this brand because they don't realize they have to prime them. I've done the same thing too with some uh, Bundle Monster stampers, so, but you, everyone, you know, just has to learn everything, so. So, um, what you can do, there's a couple different ways. You can um, take some 100% acetone remover. This is just some that I got from my Walmart. I like this stuff, so this is what I use. And, and you can just uh, take the top and let it sit in the acetone. And I've had that work for some of them. Some of them I don't, so you can do it that way or... Um, sometimes it'll just rub right off for you depending on your acetone. I tend to leave my acetone bottles open, so I don't think it works like it's supposed to. So you can also take a file. This one isn't a very high grit file. I don't know what grit it is, but um, it's it's pretty soft to the touch. I mean, this would normally hurt a person, but this doesn't hurt me and neither does this side. So an old file is really good for this. So, and I'll let you guys see the difference here, if it'll let me, if it'll capture it. See how, when the light hits it, it's super shiny in some places, but in this one it's like, just very, not so shiny. So what you do is just take it, and just rub it, like so, and I, I just go over this a couple times till I feel like it's ready. And then, as you can see, it's a little dirty, so we'll just take some remover to it. And now you have a prime stamper. 
and you're all ready to uh, start your stamping. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, do a couple uh, swatches of some of these plates real quick and I'll be right back. Alright, so we're all set up here. Um, now I'm just going to go over a couple things, um, simple things. Um, some people tend to um, prime their stampers, which how you prime them is just you take um, some 100% acetone and you just, you know, run across the plate, you know, just make sure there's no sticky residue from the blue stuff. I've never had a problem with the blue film leaving a sticky residue, so that's not something I particularly do, but if that's something you want to do, you know, you can go ahead and go for it. Um, I also, I don't use any stamping polishes of any brand. I don't own any. Um, truly, the thicker the polish, the better um, it is for you. And it'll stamp um, really nicely. Um, this is just a brand I like. Um, this is uh, Broadway. Um, you can buy it at the Dollar General for a dollar. So it's pretty nice. And some of their colors are opaque. I was really disappointed with their white. So heads up, don't buy their white. It's it's not that great on black or anything. So um, that is a downside to using just regular polishes. That if you want to do like black and yellow, it, you you'd have to do it reverse. You'd have to paint your nail yellow and then do the black on there, but, I mean, that's just really the only difference. Um, I also don't use their scrapers because um, I don't like the sound of metal scraping on metal, so I just use some old gift cards, and I use um, some pretty thick gift cards. I don't like the super thin ones because if you scrape down too hard like I can tend to on images that are um, have a thick band of color, they can um, come right off, so these are just some old cards that, you know, expired, they're empty, whatever. I don't use them anymore for whatever reason, so. Alright, so let's go ahead and get to some of the stamping. Alright, let's do Kitty 11. I think I'm going to do a couple of them. I think I want to try these keys. One of the really intricate bird cages. I don't know which one yet. Maybe this one. I've been looking at that one. And then some of the thicker designs, so. It's down a little bit. So you just get your polish out. Get the image. I'm just going to turn this here. And... and there's your image. And there it is on here. Now with the stamper heads, you may have to prime a couple times. I think this is the one that we just primed. So I'm actually going to go to one that I know works a little better. So um, I think it's this one. So, And this is what the what they usually come in. They usually have a pink one here, but it's not like super squishy or anything. It's um, very hard and firm. It's kind of like the um, Salon Express kit if you have one. Um, I have two of them because I lost one and then I found them and I just recently got all these replaced, which is awesome because I really needed new ones. But you can use these or, you know, pull it out and use the head individually. So, all right, so there was the key. Let's do the lock. There's the lock. That looks a lot better than the... Uh, other stamper did. I think I'm gonna have to prime that one a couple times. You live and you learn. Sometimes you have to prime a couple times. I think I went over mine twice with the file, so there's that one. All right, now let's do this this bird cage right here. This really intricate one with all the leaves and stuff. And I find that one of the best ways to clean these is with um. Just regular um, acetone, it really gets in there and in the cracks and helps get rid of stains and such. So, there's the bird cage. And there it is there. So, it's definitely um, a neat, unique little um, play, especially if you don't have a lot of bird cages or you know people who, you know, just love birds, bird cages, and all that kind of good stuff. So,. This one's definitely a neat one to have in the collection. Alright, so, then we got 
the letters in the graph. So I think we'll do the graph, maybe the apple, and maybe some of these lines, just some of the finer details. So um, with the stamps, you can also you don't have to paint over the whole image if you don't want to. Um, just a little bit's plenty enough, so you can just do that little half there. Scrape and pick up your image, and there it is. Now, it does, of course, look like it messed up, but that's because that's how this particular image is. It is kind of um, like it's going away, almost. So, they match up, and yeah, it looks weird, but it's supposed to look that way, so it's nothing wrong with the stamp itself. It's always good to um, compare the two to side by side, so you can see, okay, this is supposed to look like this, and you don't think, you know, you've got a stamp that you shouldn't have. Like that. Scrape. Pick it up. Look at your image. And there you have it. Seems like this last line didn't pick up for whatever reason. So We'll try again. Sometimes stamping companies do have a problem where their plates are just not etched deep enough. I've had it with um, a couple different brands. Um, most of them are really good about, you know, getting back to you um, and fixing the problem, you know, free of charge. I mean, you know, you did pay for the stamps. They should work um, the first time around, so. But it's really nice that the companies do that and have really good customer service, so. All right, let's try this one again. And you also do have to work fast, and because I'm making a video, I'm probably not going as fast as I usually do, so that might be the problem. There we go. And there's the fifth line, but it looks like the middle of it's not picking up that great on that one. So, but that's that one, and this is just extra from when it piles up over here. Sometimes you pick it up, but of course, you know, you can always clean it up and such, so. Alright, just go ahead and move on. I wasn't too particular into that one anyway, so that's why I bought the other one, because the lines are a little nicer. So this one just happened to have the alphabet on it. Right, so do the apple. There's the apple. And I just do it on paper because it's easier than putting them all on my nails and everything, so. Here it is. Okay, so we'll do some of the letters. We'll just see how many I can pick up. My stamper. So I'm just going to put a bunch there. And get my stamper head ready over here. And I'm just going to scrape across. Pick it up in the center there. There we have some letters. There you go. So they pick up pretty nicely, and then we'll do some of the uh, alphabet down here, some of the lowercase letters, get rid of some of the gold down there so it makes things easier. You always want to make sure you dry it. Um, if you're using acetone, it's not that big of a deal, but um, if you're using non-acetone, you definitely want to you know, run your finger over and dry it and make sure it dries completely because if it doesn't dry, completely then some of your images won't show up because um, there is a remover in it and they'll just look funny. Scrape your letters and here are the letters. Alrighty. And here's this one. I'm just going to show a couple quick ones here. I'm not really going to Decide or decipher too hard. Arrow. Let's do the owl. My mom likes owl, so it'll be nice to see this one work. Whoa. And there are those two. Alrighty, well, I really hope you guys enjoyed the video. Um, just go ahead and like and subscribe, and 
leave any comments or questions in the comment section below, and bye!